eye on the sky. Storm Team Meteorologist Nate Harrington. Not an asteroid that we have to worry about. So some rain today, though. Yeah, look up and find some raindrops mm -hmm. uh, hitting your head. That is going to be the problem for us for today and, and really for the next few days. All the way through Friday, we've got really good rain chances. And the pattern does start to change a bit by the weekend. We'll talk about that in a second. We showed you where the showers are early this morning, mostly in our southern and southwestern counties. Nothing too heavy out there. Temperatures right now in the mid 70s, 75 in Anison with a lot of cloud cover. The future cast going to show showers and a few thunderstorms later on this morning and into the afternoon. I don't think the coverage will be that great this morning, but I do think by lunchtime and shortly thereafter, there will be several showers and possibly some thunderstorms to watch. Severe weather chances, very low, but anytime, uh, well, that was that was fun. Any time of uh, of year, especially any time uh, this time of year, we can find some stronger storms to move in. So be watching for that very closely. Uh, most of the showers and storms that we get uh, here for the next few days will be in our our northern counties. We'll tell you why here in a second. So shower storms through the day today, mid 80s and upper 80s for afternoon highs with southwest winds at 5 to 10, and then some lingering showers around for tonight. Mostly cloudy too, low in mid 70s. So most of the showers for tomorrow will be north of I-20, and that's because of some upper level energy that will be moving in across the stationary boundary just to our north in the Tennessee Valley through Friday too. The pattern doesn't change too much, so expect another round of showers and storms north of I-20 again on Friday. And then we look at trop uh, potential tropical cyclone number nine. This is just uh, west of the Leeward Islands, moving closer to Puerto Rico and Hispaniola here over the next 24 hours. This is the official track from the National Hurricane Center, but just a note, this can and probably will change, but there is a chance that this gets into the Gulf of Mexico. If that happens, we're going to have to watch it very closely. Mid and upper 80s here for the next few days, but rain chances will be the likely story for us. And then scattered showers and storms through the beginning of next week with temperatures on the way up. That's your forecast. Now